Welcome to Simply Excel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the if function. The if function is a really useful way of evaluating your data. So let's take a look at how it works. For example, I've got my monthly sales performance here, and I might want to flag up if we've had a particularly poor month. So in this next column, I'm just going to type equals if, and then open my brackets, and you'll see there's three parameters that we pass to this function. There's the logical test, so that's the evaluation of the data that we're going to do, the value that we want to return if that evaluation is true, and the value we want to return if it's false. For this example, let's look at any month where we've made under £3,000 worth of sales. So we're going to look at cell B2, and we're going to say less than 3000 in which case if that's true we want to return below, and then if it's false we're just not going to return anything, so we're just going to put nothing in double quotes. Close our brackets and then we're just going to copy this formula down. And that's flagged our two months where we've made less than £3,000 worth of sales. So that's a really basic way of using the if function. Of course you can use any mathematical function with your if formula, so you could use exactly equals to, less than, greater than, so anything you like in there. What we can also do with the if function is we can nest them in together so we're going to say, if it's not a low month, let's look at another set of criteria and maybe see if it's a particularly high performing month. Now we're going to flag every month where the value was less than £3,000 and also every month where the value was over £6,000. So all we need to do is come into our formula and we're going to replace the value with false with another if statement. Effectively we're saying if this month's value isn't below £3,000, then we're going to check it against another criteria. So we're going to put another if in there open our brackets again, again we're going to use the cells in column B and this time we're going to say greater than 6,000 in which case we're going to say this was a high month and we're not going to return anything if that's false. Remember to put your second set of brackets in so we're closing both of our if statements, press return and again we're going to copy that down our whole column and now it's flagging up where we've got over £6,000 and also where we've got under £3,000. You can build as many of these together as you like, but if you have Office 365 I really recommend you look at my video on the ifs function because that allows you to pass multiple evaluations in one function, so that's a lot less complicated to write. I've put a link to that in the description, so please head on over there if you have Office 365 because you'll find that function a lot more flexible. I hope you found this introduction to the if function useful. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.